welcome everyone so there are literally two three ways in which you can do these kind of sums okay so we have square root of 8 divided by square root of 3 so how do you do this the first thing first we'll do the very easier method then we'll go to a complicated method but it is not that literally that complicated but i would want all of you all to know that method as well because that one will get you your answer like literally in two seconds okay so what will happen in this case is See, please understand we in fractions okay if you have denominator of any now any fraction which has a square root or any kind of root okay then in that case what you will do is you will rationalize you will multiply the entire fraction by that square root in this case or by the root of that number okay in order to get rid of the roots why do we do that because there are a lot of roots, okay, it can be nth root, any power root, okay, like cube root, square root, fourth root, fifth root, nth root, okay. There are a lot of roots, okay, which are actually irrational, okay. So, when you actually end up with a fraction whose denominator is irrational, then in that case, what happens is that doing the entire division becomes a bit complicated okay not that it's not right it gets a bit complicated okay so that's why in math we always always follow the practice of no roots in the denominator actually i should not be saying roots no radical sign in the denominator that's the best way of explaining these things okay so here obviously using the same logic what you will do is since there is a square root you will multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root now when i multiply what happens is see we have 8 okay square root of 8 and then we have square root of 3 so both of them are actually under the same radical sign okay the root is of the same power square roots okay so, in that case, when you have root of A into root of B, you can directly multiply both of them and put them under one single root. So, I'll write this as nothing but word 8 into 3. And then root of 3 into root of 3 means that is just getting you a single 3. Okay. Now, what happens is root of 8, eight into 3 that gets you 20. Sorry. That gets you 24 upon three okay now what you can do is you will again do factorization either you can do prime factorization like two into two into three so that and into one more two sorry yeah okay and this is still upon three so now obviously there's a square root so you will remove the pairs and take one digit for that pair okay so now there are there is just one single pair of twos so we'll take one two outside and then keep the rest as it is so three into two these two are left so three into two gets you six upon three that is the final answer for this particular division now like i said we'll come to the tricky one but it's actually much much easier is nothing but what eight upon root three so instead of first dividing we can directly write this as nothing but what two root two so for, this is for those people who have who have a bit of hang on their square roots and everything okay they know what is a perfect square perfect cube okay so this 8 is nothing but what 2 into 2 into 2 upon root 3 so now obviously we take one pair of 2 out so then you will just get one single 2 and then you will have a 2 root 2 upon root 3 and then again we'll do the rationalizing part so that gets you what 2 upon 3 then root 2 into root 2 root 3 will get you what just root 6 okay so you can literally do this you know in one single step as well if you had the clear-cut understanding of root 8 can be written as 2 root 2 then all you had to do was just to multiply the numerator as well as your denominator by root 3 okay so now for your DIY please tell me what will be the answer of uh, let's say root 27 upon root 5 please let me know your answers in the comment section that's it for today i will see you in the next video